Hello everyone. Praise the Lord. God is champ. He's always the best. There's nothing like to compare to him. We must trust in God to take care of everything in the world. Amen. Welcome to signing the word. Are you guys ready to be excited for the word of God? Today's title is The Word Became Flesh. That proves there's one God. There's not more than one. Let's, let, let me explain. You know this, this verse is a very famous verse, John 1 and 1. It says, in the beginning was the Word. Wait a minute, it says, in the beginning was the Word. That word itself in Greek is logos. I'm going to show you something. So again, Logos, L-O-G-O-S, is the Greek pronunciation. And then in English, it translates to word. The word itself is a thought or a plan. It says, in the beginning, he already made the heavens and the earth. And we read that in Genesis chapter 1 and 1. God planned, he thought about, and went ahead and made the world and the universe. Animals, people, everything. That was his plan. So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And some people think they're separate. Says the word was with God. You need to think the word was Jesus Christ, and then there's God work, working side by side. But that's not what this means. Let me explain a little bit. Can you continue on? It says, and the word was God. If you believe that the Word is Jesus Christ with a second being, okay, meaning there's two, if this is what you believe, how many do you see there? You see two. Do you believe in two? Wait a minute, you believe in two gods? But remember, word is a thought. Can you read my thoughts right now? I have to tell you my thoughts by words. That word is with me. It's not another person. So same as me, I, I am one person, I have thoughts, and my words are with me, or from me. Okay, I'm still just one person. Let's, let's continue on. The same was in the beginning. Ten. 
I mean, that plan did not change. It stayed exactly as God planned it. He didn't call anyone else to help him. From the, from the beginning, even to the day, it's the same God that's, that's done everything. There's my favorite word, all. You want to know why that's my favorite word? Every time I read it, it just says all, 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 all. It's all in him. God knows all things. He's all powerful. God created, created us all. So again, here it says, all things were made by him. And him being singular. So if you think that the word is separate than God, it would have said them. But it says him, which is singular. Right? You guys know that by just looking at it. We don't have to do an English lesson. It says him, meaning singular. And without him was not anything made that was made. So all in the universe, yes. All the animals birds, the fish, the trees, the plants, all, all the earth and the universe was made by him. There's one word, there's not two words, there's one word, right? By him. And it says, and without him, there would be nothing. We're alive by him. Without him, we wouldn't exist. So we all know about COVID. It's an awful time. And I wish we could stop all these different diseases and viruses that happen, but we can't do that because we're, we're people. We live here. So he giveth life. And without him, there's nothing. Now, there is the word. Can you see that word? Come back to our, our example of different things that are in the world that we can't see, but we know that they're there. He is the light and the life. So the earth was void, had nothing. Everything existed by his word, his thought. And verse 5 says, And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. 
There's no way for darkness to stop the light. There is no way. You can't make up a way or think of a way to stop the darkness. It's impossible. It will never happen. Light will always push out the darkness. If we're in the darkness, we always need that flashlight or maybe that match to give us a little bit of life, right? This earth is dark and, and void, has nothing for us. It's darkness. And God shine his light and form us, amen? Praise God. Verse 6, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light. my favorite word again. And here this word men, that includes men and women, meaning mankind, or humankind, right? So when you see this, that includes women. Who him might believe. Not guaranteed that you believe, but you decide. You decide. It's up to you if you want to believe or not. He, meaning John the Baptist, was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. So John said, Behold, the Son of God. What was that that he was he was seeing, saying, Behold, it was Jesus. He is our Savior. How many saviors do we have? Just one. The Old Testament explains clearly. Jesus says, even I am the Lord. Beside me there is no other. I think that was in Isaiah. Forty-three and eleven. Isaiah forty-three and eleven. All right, beautiful. Let's see here. John one and nine. That was the true light. which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. There's only one earth that we live on. There's no other earths around us. And one God created it. Amen? He was in the world. And the world was made by him. So who was in the world? Jesus. He was in the world and it was made by him. Again, there's that word him. Singular. He came unto his own, yes, he owns us, he gave us life, 
And yes, sometimes we will fail him because of our sin. But he gives us the chance to have a life in him again. I'm thankful for Calvary, are you? He came unto his own, and his own received him not. That's sad. He came to save us. To provide salvation to us. And he died for us. Wait a minute. You know, what's wrong with him? What did he do wrong? He did nothing. He died for us. We're not perfect. I'll tell you, I'm not perfect. But he still gives us the opportunity to serve him. prove to you I'm not perfect and here's water not coffee Bed. Water. my wife said you faker I said wait a minute I'll tell him it's water it's like I don't know what time it is now anyway it's like in the midday so but every morning we drink coffee but not in midday <laughs> I just threw some water in there Verse 12 says, but, there's good news. Yes, verse 11 is very negative. But, we have good news. But as many as received him. Yes, that's you. Who believe and received him. To them gave he power, meaning authority, to become I thought he already owned us. But you realize that some decide to go ahead their separate ways to live in sin and he still loves them and has mercy remember in the beginning he made the heavens and earth there was one word one thought one plan praise God But to those who received him, he, get, he gave power to become the sons of God, meaning the children of God. And that includes, yes, women as well, when you see the word sons. Even to them that believe on his name. And his name is what? I bet you're thinking Jesus. And that's right. That's the right answer. And here again, we see singular, his name. We have to be careful here as 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 we read this we know the word was one but as the as deaf community signs with with both hands can make some people confuse that it means two but it's talking about his plan was part of him so my plans and my words just the same as they're a part of who i am So this is the thought I had of, I want to marry Lisa. That started my thought. That started my plan. Right? Same as you can have a plan and a word. So hold on. Let's go back down. So again, his name. 
which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. He wanted to save us. And the word was made flesh. If you look at the KJV version, it says became. The word became flesh. Where you can see him. That is amazing. Jesus. I'll prove to you. Hold on. And same as my wife is sitting here voicing for me, we have different words in, in sign language. This is why we sign Bible, like Jesus, book, because the word is God. So now we have the sign Bible. This is the word of God. I was just a little little off tidbit there for you guys. Let's go back to John. And it says, and dwelt among us. He was in the world. He dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Does it say half? He's full of grace and truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Father didn't send a separate being called the Son. He is the Word that became flesh. And John bare witness of him and cried, saying, There was he of whom I spake. He's kind of saying, that. That's who I was talking about. That's who I was commenting about. He is more worthy than I. He is the Savior. That's who I was talking about. He brings light and truth. So kind of imagine John being deaf saying, that, 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 that's, that's what I was talking about. And he that cometh after me is preferred before me. And he is fullness have all received in grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Now, last verse and then we'll be done. And John 1 18 says, No man. 
doesn't matter the color. Black, white, yellow, doesn't matter. No man hath seen God, meaning in the flesh. So again, no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son. So again, let's look at the English here. It says, no man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son. So God is that spirit, and only until he became flesh. And for about 33 years, we could see him in the flesh. Praise God. Which is in the bosom of the Father. He hath declared him. Again, he didn't send another savior. He himself. He's God. He's everywhere. He's a true light. Full of grace and truth. And now. In the beginning was the word. Again, word also meaning thought or a plan. We can read it. In the beginning was a plan, and the plan was with God, and the plan was God. Or we could change it to thought. In the beginning was the thought, and the thought was with God. And the thought was God. He had us in mind. He had the universe in mind. And his plan came to pass and he became flesh. Enjoy your friends and family. God bless you.